Hello everyone. I'm feeling really emotional right now and I knew that I would be emotional in this video. Um, this, this year has been the biggest year of my life. Thank you all for tuning in for my final video of the year. It's New Year's Eve and I always make yearly New Year's Eve intention videos. Let's do a little recap. Um, at the start of the year I made a New Year's video. Um, just putting out my intention for the year. I guess we should all collectively set a new intention for 2018 and it should be nothing less than a vegan world. Anything less is betraying the animals. And it was to basically take things to the next level. And I had no idea how fast and how powerfully it would manifest. I mean, Laura and I got together and we started a huge tour. I was determined to go harder than I've ever gone. And I started touring the UK and we started a series called The Vegan Prophecy. No matter how much money they think they got, no matter how much propaganda they think they can perpetuate, it's gonna backfire on them. Huge things happened as a result of my tour. A viral video on Facebook of me talking to two police officers started to rustle up some attention and a lady from the BBC contacted me and she was like hey we want to make a documentary that's going to be aired on Victoria Derbyshire and I was like okay no worries they followed me around they did some filming they say their cause is compassion for animals what's going on in there is an injustice the next day they got Earthling Ed on to do a debate with a dairy farmer a few days after that they got me on the Jeremy Vine show for one of my most controversial interviews to date Kelly yesterday you were on the TV on Victoria Derbyshire and we would very much like to have you on our program as well Hello Jeremy, how are you? I don't know whether you're angry today or just generally about the whole thing. Well, I'm a bit upset to see your sandwich has a piece of a pig's body in there. A dead pig that didn't want to die. I mean, it was very polarising, even in the vegan community. People said it was too aggressive. You sit in the front of your truck and drop animals off to their death. Who is the real victim here, my friend? Say what you want about that interview and my conduct in it and that debate. It kicked off a media storm in the UK. Now, the next day I had articles written, militant vegan activist attacks Jeremy Vine about his ham sandwich. As a result of my conduct in that interview, I then landed a TV appearance on This Morning with two dairy farmers. Okay. What happens so to your I, cows? Would you mind after, if I finish? What happens you to your cows when they cannot produce milk anymore? Now, after that TV debate, more headlines, more newspaper articles. I, I couldn't keep up with the amount of journalists, messaging, emailing, ringing wanting me to debate with farmers, ringing wanting interviews. How do you know more, more to the point that a cow is capable of giving consent? They are not capable of giving consent. They are innocent beings. What is the moral difference between a dog uh, and a lamb? Well, you're, you're in your... In your in no, your in, no, in your... Hang on. You know, you're, you're digesting the flesh of an animal who didn't want to die, screamed and suffered in a gas chamber, and you've never seen the process? So do you, do you know your animals do not want to die? Our, our animals don't know. That they don't want to die, my friend. I remember Laura and I were in a gas station, a petrol station. We opened up the newspaper and her and I were on the second page. Vegans go nuts with threats to farmers. Okay, we were freaking out because it felt like someone was looking at me weird at the front of the service station, like they'd recognised me. Boom, and there we were. So it was absolutely massive. Now the media started to, of, of course if you've been following it, the media absolutely did a smear campaign against me. They went through my whole personal life, put it all up on these massive newspapers with millions and millions of readers. That's how the year started off. I went to Israel soon after that and then following all of this, Dominion Tour, touring around Australia, absolutely huge. It was again very taxing but so worth it. Then, on the way back to the UK to go and edit the footage, they refused my access to the UK, put me in immigration prison, 
sent me back to Australia. The only way Laura and I could meet was in Bali. For us, thank you. We'll, yeah. thank, thank you so you much. So. We, we stopped them from killing a chicken. All right, so we just found this little dog here on the side of the road here. And I've never seen a dog look so bad. So we come to Bali, Indonesia, did a bunch of edit editing. I got my immigration sorted to the UK, went back there, did a huge TV debate with Piers Morgan the day I arrived, basically. It seems to me you were a pretty violent guy. I right? used to be. Yeah. And, a okay. pretty voracious and you can't turn your life around and do something good for exactly. animals? Everyone is entitled. What, 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 Piers, no, leave no, him alone. Piers, no, 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 let him go, let him go. <laughs> I want to see. Kicked off more media and, you know, went viral again which was huge. So just a massive, massive year. Now, I can't, be, I just cannot, I, I just cannot believe how that all manifested. I mean, I just, it's just amazing. Like just absolutely amazing. Now I'm not gonna say that it, like I'm talking about all the positives. There were ups, there were downs. I'm not feeling the best right now, eh? I'm not sure if I'll ever post this video, but if I do, then I've decided that it's gonna benefit um, those of you in the movement who might be feeling a bit similar. I, I, I think I'm a bit exhausted at the moment. I guess I have been having a lot of ups and downs lately. I don't know, like I just don't know. I feel like I don't even know who I am anymore. Like I just, I'm trying my absolute best and I don't feel like that it's, I just, I honestly don't feel like it's good enough. I don't know, like I know you might think this is pretty stupid but I just don't feel like I'm doing enough and, and I want everyone to know that um, even the activists you might admire will still have their, um, still have their bad days. I feel like I'm having more bad days than good lately, um, which is not good. The downs were really down, the ups were really up. It's been a roller coaster. Um, you know, dealing with criticism, dealing with the media, trying to expose my private life and my past and it's, on top of, you know, not sleeping and, you know, smashing the activism and the animal suffering and really, really full on. Uh, and all of this hasn't been without my own personal struggles. I mean, I'm a human being. I've had a very rough past. If you guys have been following me for a while, you know that. I'm suffering with my own uh, personal problems, PTSD, and just, just aspects of my past that still haunt me today. But... The title of this video is, Am I Burning Out? Currently I'm in Indonesia, okay, I'm setting up an office here. The reason being, it's very cost effective for me to set up an office here. The UK and Australia are just too expensive. As you all know, I've been uploading the Light Up The World Tour series. Now this tour was the most demanding three weeks I've ever put myself through. It was gruelling, it was gruelling to say the least. Um, we're about a third of the way through in my uploads for that tour and the best is yet to come really with that. I needed a break after that. I mean, I, I come home back to Australia and I'd been using so much caffeine and coffee just to get through that tour. It would have been impossible without it. And I needed to do some serious self-care. So I come to Indonesia and as soon as I got here, I just slept. I slept for like a week. I've been exercising and eating healthy consistently, really focusing on looking after myself. But am, am I burnt out? Like, is this getting a little bit too much for me? Am I taking on a little bit too much at once? I wanna tell you something, like, in my life, I've been through some really hard times. Like, I mean, I, I put a loaded gun inside of my mouth and I was gonna end it all. So I've been in very hard situations. I've been through hell, literally been 
put myself through hell and back. I know, my own choice. I know my, it was my own choice. But I'm just saying, there is literally nothing that can stop me, okay, spreading this message and leaving a positive mark on this earth. Nothing can stop me. Not, nothing anyone says, nothing anyone does, okay? If I was going to quit, I would have quit at the start of the year, okay? If I was going to burn out, I, I would have burnt out on the prophecy tour when the media was putting all that pressure on me and all of these things happened all at once. There is nothing that will hold me back. If anything, I just keep getting stronger, more pronounced, and the fire inside of my heart burns brighter. That's what's happening. I know you're gonna be looking at the Light Up The World Tour and go, oh my God, Joey, you need a break. I love this, I live for it, I would die for it. Every second of every day, I live for my purpose. I have to be careful of my, you know, mental, emotional, physical state, and I'm taking care of that. Don't you worry, I'm taking care of that. We're literally climbing up the side of this mountain. <laughs> wow. And we're up here in the clouds. But I can handle it. I can do this. If you want to know where I'm at, I'm exercising, I'm putting my head down. I've got a lot of work to do, okay? There's going to be a lot of work pumping out of this little office here, and I cannot wait. Cannot wait. Every day I'm anticipating the next move. This year, I've got a very big opportunity and I'm gonna give you a hint. It's to do with TV, but it's gonna be something ongoing, okay? Now, I don't wanna to release too much information in case it doesn't happen, but I know when your heart is in the right place, everything happens in perfect timing. It always does. I wanna say a very heartfelt thank you right now to my Patreons. Without Patreon, this year wouldn't have happened the way it did, okay? One of the best decisions I've ever made was starting a Patreon. And all of you guys who got behind me through Patreon, we did this together. Thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to do this full time. I'm forever grateful. Every single day, I kiss the ground. I'm so grateful I have this opportunity to do this and to be financially supported for it. You have no idea how thankful my heart is. Thank you so much to everyone who has supported me in the comments section, okay, shares my videos, who's been following the journey. Some of you have been following me from the start and you've seen my transition and you've seen how far I've come. I'm so glad I'm not in jail, man wasting my life away on drugs anymore and we only get one ch one shot you know like I'm ready to get out there on the fucking streets mate and fucking plant seeds and do what I have to do man like like real activism you know like I've evolved a lot since I first started making videos all I knew is there was a fire here inside of my heart and I had to spread it okay I had to that there was just like, it was a calling it was my destiny all I can say is that I've only just begun. I'm just getting started. So let's do it right now. Let's set the intention for the new year. Let's take all of this to another level, <laughs> to another dimension. And let's all focus our intention on making 2018 the biggest year for animal rights and veganism ever. Okay, you can see what happened last year. This year, it's gonna be even more profound even more powerful, okay? And it'll reach even more people. 2018, veganism went mainstream. 2019, it's going to blow up. Now for a vegan world to manifest, we all have to collectively believe it is possible. All of us together have no doubt, each and every one of you can make a huge difference on earth. Okay, don't ever doubt that. Together, 2019, we're gonna to make this bigger, more widespread than ever before. And the animals will get their justice. There's a fire inside of your heart, spread it. Don't hold it in anymore. The system that exploits and oppresses animals have reigned their darkness on earth for long enough. Now it's time for the light to come. And the light comes from each and every one of you candles coming together and then 
we can light up the world. And if anyone out there has that, that's your purpose and it's calling out to you. Like mine was calling out to me. We can do something. We are doing something and we are not helpless. Animals are having their throats slashed open for an unnecessary reason, okay? Farmers are sending them on trucks to slaughterhouses. Oh my God. I believe that we are put in these positions because we are strong enough to, to be there. Hey, hey, but I changed my life around and now I'm vegan. Now just because I did something wrong in the past doesn't mean I can't do something right now. How does that justify your abuse of dairy cows so you can have milk in your coffee? We want to talk about revolutionary shit, how to, how to create change. Look, I don't like the way things are on, on this earth, man. It's got to stop, dude. So, yeah, I want to talk about things that can make a difference. Uh, you know, how we can practically, in our day-to-day -day lives, make a difference, make change. Change this world from the, well, the way it is to the way we want it to be. The, you know, so we can all can live together in harmony. And just just be happy, man. Like, you, you can't truly be happy when half the population more than half of the living beings on this planet are unhappy. They're suffering. As long as they're suffering, the individual can't truly be happy, can they? That's what I think, anyway. Let's band together. Band together, join the movement. Stick together, let's, let's all fucking jump on board, right, and do our bit. See how far we can take this, hey? Yeah, let's see where this will take us, hey? Look how close I am to the camera. <laughs> let's see where we can take this.